This is when the base of the foundation of a man is attacked. Hidden within the depths of the mind, goodwill begins to die. Shit starts with its legs being severed, cut off so that it can no longer bear the weight of its owner. His spirit in the form of a sparrow continues to try and help the wounded. Still, the first step to the abyss is in progress. Even though his hurt is self-inflicted, he obsesses with the blissful liquid he loves. Though his problems just keep mounting up upon his back. Killing his own body and soul, a heavenly hand attempts his rescue. The hand of the conscious, its eye peeks out from up above, but a moment too late. The damage has been done already. And just as new will is mustered to free its slave from its oppressor, himself, when he finds the strength being born, it's entangled by its own evil. Still, the helping hand lifts up the spirit of the fallen to protect, to shield it from its owner, who's infested by the mind manipulating. Quick sands of cocaine, as always, the oppressed becomes his own oppressor and continues to dump its waste on. Well, on itself, the conscious is wounded but strong and keeps his watchful eye on the bitter body of the owner. Now tired of Cain's effect, he begins to experiment with stronger drugs. Heroin, injecting himself with poison that riddles his mind, even of its own existence. Though now a new dawn has risen, a clear horizon for the oppressed. Now the sparrow holds revenge along with punishment for the damage he caused to himself, sticking in him his own weapon of choice while he desperately grasps the tree whose branches uphold its newly found righteousness for itself. They surround him as he slowly dies, for the conscious holds down the legs of the oppressed oppressor, giving birth to a new seed, a seed of virtue, who is being wet, held high above the rotten roots of sin. They give it a heavenly crown, a halo. Now the full picture blooms.